Hello guys, happy Easter. Today Christians all over the world, when, whenever it's, if they celebrate Easter, it should be today, but obviously there's time zones and I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, Russia doesn't celebrate on a different day like um, they do with Christmas, but I have no idea. Um, people celebrate the um, resurrection of Jesus, which means that um, Jesus, as if you're a Christian, essentially is the belief that that Jesus came back from the dead um, roughly, I think it's two or three days later, I'm, I'm not sure of the exact time frame, after he was crucified. He came back from the dead and started to talk to people, okay, before um, disappearing, never to be seen again, okay. Now, during this time, people often on Sunday eat things like um, Easter eggs. Um, you, um, you have seen me eat Easter eggs um, in some of my other videos, so I haven't bought any this year. Um, in the past, I bought them after, after Easter because it's cheaper, because then you try and get rid of them usually. Um, but this year, I haven't bothered, um, to be honest. Easter eggs are really only any good for children, it's really a children's thing. Adults don't really tend to buy them because it's truthfully a very expensive way of eating chocolate, to be honest. It looks cute, it looks nice, but to be very honest with you, unless you're a child, you probably won't fully appreciate it because you will think to yourself, well, I've just eaten some chocolate and I could probably have eaten the exact same type of chocolate and a lot more of it for a lot less money. Okay? Now, I know that in Russia, I believe they um, get normal eggs and paint them on the outside. In Britain, we tend to um, eat eggs, what look like eggs, which is just, they're essentially chocolate bars in, like chocolate, a, chocolate, a large chocolate bar, sort of, put into the shape of a large egg. Okay, so it's hollow inside, and it's almost like they've got a chocolate bar, and they've bent it round to make half an egg and they bent another half round to make the other half of the egg and sometimes they join the two together and sometimes you have to break them open and generally they sort of stuck together but not set too well so you can easily break them open and they're hollow inside because it's like bending round two cho chocolate bars if you like and often inside sometimes you'll find a small bag of sweets or some other thing okay and it's, it's all really for children really you can see this in my um, other videos from the past, from, you know. But um, the other thing that people tend to eat around Christmas time, sorry, not Christmas, sorry, Easter, is something called hot cross buns. Now, I did actually eat, me and my mum shared one yesterday, believe it or not, and I went out yesterday and got some, and we shared one. So I just wanted to see if she liked it, you see. And um, so I am not going to do... And then, for various reasons, I had half, she had half, and there's something else we've got to eat today. Um, otherwise, it would be up and expire. So, um, basically, I had a donut for my mum and today. So, um, tomorrow, when, which will be Easter Monday, my mum will probably have the next, um, or should have, the next hot cross bun. I've decided to let her have the rest, okay? Now, not because I don't like them, but because, well, it's a treat for her, really. Um, let's be honest, and um, so here you'll notice I bought a pack of six Tesco hot cross buns, they are actually well within date. So I know I like to expire food, but this isn't expired, okay? There's four in here. I do have these, you can put straight from the freezer because I've put these four in the freezer. I left one out for tomorrow, and I'm going to just show you one, okay? Now that's if this will happen because they're straight from the freezer. So I did the freezer last night. So there you go. You just snap one off. Now, this is what they look like. And what we do, I'm not going to do it now because I'm going to put this back in the freezer later, to be honest. But um, what we do is we slice the bun. So, and then open it and put butter or margarine in it and then close it again and then eat it, okay? Now, 
why is it called a hot cross bun? Well, it looks like a bun. It's it's golden brown on the top, but you'll also notice this plus. Okay. And I believe that somewhere else on this on my YouTube channel, I believe I actually did um, show you me eating a hot cross bun in the past. I believe so. You can look at videos for that. Okay. Um. And on the top, they put rice paper. Okay, it's something special called rice paper. When I was a child, we used to make these at school. They actually taught you how to make them at school properly using rice paper. Okay, you've got this rice paper, and you basically put the plus in the shape of plus. The plus is meant to um, be the symbol of the crucifixion of Christ and the um, crucifixion of Christ. Okay, and that's called a hot cross bun. These are generally popular around Easter time here, and it's to celebrate the um, resurrection of Christ after he was um, executed for blasphemy and victory, right? Now, as I said, generally they have currants in them or something like that. Currants and raisins. It says it has currants, sultanas, currants, raisins, and mixed peel in it. Okay. Um, I did, as I said, make one them myself a long 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 time ago as a child um um at school okay but i've never personally made any since i've just bought them to be honest i've never wanted them to be honest i've never really done any bread or proper yeast cooking i've never done it really i mean i unless i had to do it at school i never did it because to be honest it, i just thought it's cheaper to buy the things it is to actually make them in many cases and they can probably do it better than I can. Um, and it's not a proper meal, so it doesn't matter, you know. Um, but there you go. I know this probably isn't the best video I've done, but there you go. Happy Easter, guys, for those who believe in um, Jesus Christ and, you know, believe, you know, in Christianity. Um, I, I'm personally agnostic, okay, so I want to make this clear. I'm personally agnostic, I'm not a believer. I believe it's impossible to know the truth about what happened in the past. That's my personal belief. Um, you, I know a lot of people who probably watch my videos don't share my my religious beliefs, but that's up to you. Um, but nonetheless, my mum is a Christian, and so I just let her celebrate um, Easter in that way. Okay. I also had partly some of it yesterday because I wanted her to see. Um, she already had a donut that she had to eat yesterday and today because of what we got. But um, essentially, I wanted to try some because often my mum has complained sometimes that um, they make some things like this too fancy, and sometimes they put too many spices in things like this, and she doesn't like them if they're very very spicy or they try to be make them too exotic and too strange. My mum was probably from a time when she probably made them herself. Okay. So there you go, uh, um, hot cross buns, um, celebrated and eaten over here at Christmas time, uh, sorry, Easter time, I apologise. It's not just eaten on Easter Sunday, it's eaten during the Easter period, so it could be eaten on uh, Good Friday, and generally throughout the Easter period, okay, so there you go, guys. British Easter food, okay, hot cross buns, okay. I don't know, I haven't looked into the origins of it, I'm too lazy at the moment, but there you go. Thanks for watching guys, bye!